Okay, hey y'all, it's Crystal J with something to say, voiceover edition, Halloween edition, throwback edition, bad bleep edition. But today we're throwing it back to last year because I actually filmed this video last year when I did this costume. I was the weekend after hours character and I filmed this, but... <laughs> For some reason I hated the footage and sometimes I just have to film and come back to the footage but I feel like some people weren't feeling Halloween this year and I was one of those people so I just wanted to throw it back because honestly this was one of my most iconic costumes I would have to say if you haven't seen the pictures yes you have because you clicked on the video but yeah I just wanted to show you guys how I got the makeup look this is honestly, watching this is crazy because A, my skin looks really nice here and it's not looking like that right now. But also, I kind of still do this makeup routine to this day. If you watched my last Get Ready With Me for aha, the weekend concert, I kind of did the same thing. Long Comb Tent E Doll Foundation for 35W. That was back when it matched me better, which I feel like this is lighting because that foundation is too dark for me now. And I wasn't going outside back then, so I'm unsure of why it looks so good. But alas, I'm blending this into my face using the Fenty Beauty eavesdrop. I am moving <laughs> fast. But yeah, this is just your regular average everyday foundation routine it doesn't really get into him until the end once I start drawing on the face to look more like the cover so I redid his album art from the album duh <laughs> that's funny but yeah I'm blending and 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 smiling look at those cheekbones gorgeous girl gorgeous 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 girl love that for her but yeah, I guess I wanted to talk about some other things too. I wish I would have posted this. Well, I am going to post this, but either or. Timing is everything. But um, this is just the real of sometimes. I film a lot of videos and in the moment, I think just looking at them, I'm hypercritical and in some ways overly critical of myself and of certain things and I don't really know why I didn't like this video to be honest because the makeup look came out very beautiful it was accurate I loved the look I there's nothing wrong with this video at all but for some reason at the time I just thought that I shouldn't post it and so now I am doing what 2021 crystal would not do seeing it from a different eye I guess you could say like a bird's eye view and seeing the talent and wanting to share that with you all. You see how the foundation routine's almost done? Taking the Patrick Ta Beauty, do we know her blush? I'll have all the products linked down below to be honest. So yeah, we don't have to worry about too much of that. This was just one of those years where music was speaking to me differently and I wanted to tribute to some of my favorite albums and and songs that meant a lot to me at the time. This was an album that really changed my perspective on art because I feel like The Weeknd really took this album and made a spectacle out of it in a way that was so needed, especially during 2020. It was some ways, I think it mirrored the sadness that a lot of us were going through and the uncertainties and also kind of the sinister joker-esque character that i feel like we all kind of have in us sometimes we all have a little bit of villain in us and it was just fun getting to embody that and i i loved watching all of the visuals and listening to all the music and it was definitely something that helped me a lot during covid or during my uncertainties i always would put that on from the top and work my way down to the bottom even with the visuals i just used to watch them all the time so it's just really exciting just re-watching this footage and just being like oh my gosh crystal you're just you just didn't know what was coming for you i was so sad at this time 
I was happy with the results, but I was just sad because I didn't know what my life was going to be like. I had a lot of dreams and a lot of aspirations, and I believed in myself, but I didn't know the steps that were going to get me to those things. I was just so sad. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it, which is quite common. I think we're all good at hiding our sadness. And in some ways, I guess you could say this was my way of tapping into my creativity so that I wouldn't be so sad. But this was a harder time for me in the midst of a really, really, really positive thing that was coming my way, but I just had no clue all the beautiful blessings that were gonna come my way and just changed the trajectory of my life. Actually getting to, you know, get my job and move and going to see the weekend with one of my really closest friends, it was just 100% full circle. So that was cool too. So now I'm taking the Ben Nye color wheel. I'll have this linked in the down bar too. It's, it's almost like a pomade and there are a bunch of colors that help you kind of draw scars and blood. So I used the red color to draw the scar near the eye. Like I said prior to, I'm taking reference from the album art. Now there are a lot of different versions of this, but I'm specifically going off the album art. Freehanding it, it was kind of a scar, but it was more of like a flat scar that was bloody. So I didn't use all of the other fancy stuff to go with it to make it look that real. It was a broken nose and I'm just lining everything out with the red and then we'll deepen it a little bit later. I'm looking at the reference photo so that I can draw it. I practiced this makeup look two times before actually getting it. I'm kind of just drawing down my nose. You can't really see, unfortunately, because I had to get close. Oh, look at me. Look at me showing y'all, per. It's broken nose vibes, it's giving branch. Now, what I will say is I tried something a little different with the, the lips. And because this was a recreation of the original one. I didn't go as hard with blood by the mouth. It, I kind of did something a little bit different and I didn't put the blood. We'll talk about that later, but <laughs> it's just, it's gonna be slightly different, I'll say. More just because I didn't want to get my floor dirty and we'll discuss that later, I guess. <laughs> Once I get to it, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I didn't realize this was gonna be oh so detailed. Like, OMG Crystal, you need to edit some of this out. I think, long story short, what I was going to say was that this was a very special moment for me. This was a moment where I stepped out of my comfort zone. I've never done special effects, even though I guess I'm gonna consider this like my my dipping my toe into special effects for sure. I never done anything of this sort. I just kind of picked up the brushes and went with it and I had fun and I feel like I did a really, really good job and I got a lot of positive feedback. I don't know how to explain. I was just nervous. I felt like everybody was gonna think that I was so weird because <laughs> it's like going, I mean, at the time, I don't think people had been him. And if they were, it wasn't me. <laughs> and you know how we all get in our heads where we're like, oh my gosh, everybody's gonna think I'm so weird. And then you realize that nobody's paying attention to you at all like at all at all it's really just all in your head that was kind of what I learned from this as well because most people were kind of just like oh that's sick and I was like oh my gosh I thought everybody's gonna say I was weird but then it's like Crystal why would you why would you feel that way so this is what I'm talking about this is where the mouth part gets a little different I was trying to do something different so instead of doing it on the chin like I did in the picture, I kind of just was going ham on one side of my mouth and I was like, it's cool. I like that. And then I was like, I'm just gonna do it, do that. Cause that makes more sense. I didn't want to be messy. And so now what we're gonna do is take the darker color and 
I believe we're about to start deepening this up. So it's not the deepening. We're deepening up with dark blood. Dark blood this is all in the kit. This is a very nice kit. Actually, it wasn't that expensive. And it came with all of this stuff. It came with the blood, it came with the brushes, it came with the color wheel, it came with a bunch of other stuff. Like if you wanted to make scar, there's scar wax and liquid latex and remover for glue and adhesive and all types of stuff. Literally anything you would need. And it has a booklet to show you how to put all this stuff on. It was really, really, really helpful and nice because one thing about me, that Virgo moon, I'm not asking nobody for no help because you're not going to help me the way I'm going to help me. But yeah, I'm going to let that one breathe a little bit. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyways, but yeah, I'm just kind of adding the dark blood over all of the portions on my face that I drew down. And I did that first because this blood, even though it, it has a shiny dry down, so it's not, it doesn't drip per se, but it's messy. If you use too much, you're not going to have the precise lines. So because the lines on his face were so precise, because it's supposed to look like you have a broken nose. It's supposed to look like you have cuts on your face. You need that precision to look like you didn't pretend to just put splotchy blood, blood on your face. So... I feel like the lines helped give it that vibe, even though it looks a little drawn on, but in the pictures, it doesn't look drawn on. Because you have to think about it. Oh, you're going to have to over-exaggerate your makeup. I don't know if any of you guys did theater or whatnot. You're always going to have to over-exaggerate your makeup for a camera because cameras aren't going to pick up detail as well as you know the naked eye would up close. So when you're taking a picture, for example, like this, taking this picture in low light and, and angles and then having to edit the coloring and turning down the exposure, you really do need lines this defined and you need that depth on your face or else it's not going to show up as prominent in the picture. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I went on a tangent like that. I feel like this is just so much footage. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize. I could have cut some more. I'm going to take this out because I'm not doubting myself. I did what I was supposed to do. Hello? <laughs> Are you dumb? No, I'm, I'm kidding. But yeah, so this is dang near the vibes this is the whole vibe i would say there are a couple other details that i did not do in this video again this is for obvious reasons and by obvious i mean like i have a white carpet i'm not putting blood in my mouth because i don't know if you were able to s swallow that blood or taste it so when i took the pictures i just had to continuously put the fake blood in my mouth, take pictures, spit it out. Put the blood in my mouth, take pictures, spit it out. So there were a lot of different times of me doing that. So I just preferred to not do that when I wasn't outside because I didn't want to, you know, spit. That just didn't seem necessary. I feel like that's a pretty straightforward thing to say. Like, you got to put the blood on your teeth <laughs> and then just hold your mouth open and man get that shot as easy as you can for outfit details because i didn't show that in that this video i might have a clip of me showing the outfit but the red excuse me the red blazer that i wore in the picture is from zara i will link that below and the black button down that i wore in the picture was also from zara and again like i said all the products that I used in the video will be linked down below. Everything is, it's, well, I don't know if it's in stock. I can't say that. But yeah, somebody need to run me some checks because, hey man, this, this was some good stuff. I, I am very confident in this look. This was too much of a vibe. It was just too good. 
if I would have went out this year, I would have done this again just because it was such a good costume. Like, if I could walk around with this makeup on my face all the time, I really, really, really would. But yes, we have come to the end. I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like my voiceovers, let me know down below. <laughs> okay, stop it. All right. <laughs>